क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स वी आर कंटिन्यू द सेम टॉक विद द सेम प्रॉब्लम बट पार्ट बी ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम So this was the problem based on three production centers Mumbai, Chennai, and Kolkata, and four distribution centers Ahmedabad, Bhopal, Bangalore, and Goa. And this was our table. And in the table there is a second part below the table, where they ask if the transportation cost from production center Kolkata to distribution center Bangalore is changed from eight to twelve. what will be the effect that is the impact on the transportation schedule will it change if yes state the reasons so this is a problem based on transportation sensitivity we have already obtained the answer of part a and now there is a question which asks us that if cost from kolkata to bangalore changes from 8 rupees to 12 rupees will there be a change in the final answer so will my final answer change that's the question so this is called as transportation sensitivity let's see how to solve this problem for this we need to refer the final solution of the previous a part 11 a part the final solution of the a part is here as under so this was the final solution on our screen here we have the solution and we have all the delta well is positive now i want to make a change from kolkata to bangalore so from kolkata to bangalore kolkata to bangalore my cost is 8 now this cost is i am going to change to 12 so there is a change in the cost from kolkata to bangalore from 8 to 12 we can see already there is no allocation from kolkata to bangalore that means at a cost of 8 per unit it is not advisable it is not profitable to transport from kolkata to bangalore now this cost has been increased from 8 to 12 which means that there is a increase in cost this is quite logical friends if there was no allocation when the initial cost was 8 per unit you can always answer that there won't be any more allocation even if the cost increases to 12 rupees per unit because there is a increase in the cost had there been a decrease in the cost we could have thought of some allocation in that particular cell from kolkata to bangalore but since there is no such allocation in the initial solution of part a i can we can proudly say we can logically say that there won't be any change in the solution the solution will change most probably when there is a reduction in the cost of unoccupied cell or increase in the cost of occupied cell so let's write note down the answer for part b since the cost from kolkata to bangalore increases from 8 rupees per unit to 12 rupees per unit there is further increase in cost more over this is an unoccupied cell 
एट अनऑक्युपाइड सेल द इंक्रीज इन कॉस्ट विल नॉट इंपैक्ट द सोल्यूशन एस इट इज नॉट ऑप्टिमल टू मेक एलोकेशन इन दैट पर्टिकुलर सेल सो फ्रेंड्स वी कैन जस्ट कंक्लूड दैट इफ द कॉस्ट ऑफ कॉस्ट पर यूनिट ऑफ अनऑक्युपाइड सेल रेड्यूसेस देन देर इज अ स्कोप ऑफ मेकिंग ए चेंज इन द सोल्यूशन देन देर इज सोल्यूशन माइट चेंज but because the cell is already unoccupied at a cost of rupees 8 per unit by further increasing the cost from 8 to 12 one can easily conclude that it won't be profitable it won't minimize the cost on the contrary it will increase the cost if you go for allocation in that particular cell so hence we can conclude that this change will not impact my solution thanks thanks for watching this video do subscribe to our channel ikida